Hey, welcome to You Better Believe It, our weekly uh, Stuff You Should Know Internet Clubhouse show. Right. Where we dive into the internet. Let's dive in. All right. I'm already in, buddy. Oh, okay. Well, here I come. Nice. Chuck. Yes. Have you heard about um, ectogenesis? I have, but I had not until you sent this to me. And this is from our f- friends at uh, Vice. Yeah. Dot com. Uh, well, Motherboard. Yeah. Which is a, a brand of Vice. Yeah, which we've actually written some things for them. Yeah, we did. Yeah, it's good stuff. So this is from a uh, futurist named Zoltan Istvan. He's got to be a futurist for right. that kind of name. Yeah. Uh, and he's basically, he's written this little column about ectogenesis, which is basically um, bringing an embryo to term outside of the womb. It's yeah. an artificial womb. Yep. And uh, Mr. Uh, Istvan cites his credentials as I'm not just a futurist I'm also married to an OBGYN so that's it makes him credible when he says supposedly by 2024 2034 these things maybe 2044 I think he says these things are going to be like in widespread use yeah he said uh, by 2074 only 30 percent of births will be real human births yes so that's 70 percent are going to be maybe in artificial wombs that's what they're predicting. That's what he's predicting, at least. Yeah, and there's a couple of applications, potentially. Um, one, obviously, for women who cannot bring a baby to term, um, maybe it could be done in a lab somewhere. Right, which, I mean, we're already doing in vitro fertilization. What if once that process has begun, rather than implanting it in the womb, you just put it into a cool little uh, pod yeah. and grow a baby in there? Yeah. The the Mr. Uh, Istvan points out, like, yes, this all sounds kind of matrixy, and it is. Sure. Like they hook up sensors and stuff to this, to the amniotic fluid that the baby's floating in. And yeah. um, he's saying like, yeah, it's creepy. But at the same time, you can also basically create a perfect fetus. Right. Like you can monitor every heartbeat, whatever you need to and keep up with it. And if anything starts to go wrong, it's not in a woman. Right. It's right there in a pod that can be manipulated. Yeah. And when the baby's ready, they just unplug the port from the back of the head, hit the flush button, and it just... Sucks right out right. into the mother's arms. And then the baby goes <gasps> and sits up in the uh, embryo. Yeah. So that sounds pretty cool. I guess we'll see what happens. Although 2074, that's a little ways away. Uh, interested to see where this goes for sure, though. So the 2074 was the original prediction back in the 1920s by J.B.S. Haldane. Oh. This guy's saying, we're going to have these things by 2044. Gotcha. At the latest. He said, that guy, he was off by 30 years in 1924. He's old timey. <laughs> All right, very cool. So uh, you can check that out. Um, artificial wombs are coming, but the controversy is already here on uh, motherboard.vice.com. Good stuff. Highly recommended. I've got one for you. All right. I found this. This is from last year, from May 2013, from the New York Times City Desk blog. Hot off the presses? <laughs> from last year. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool by now. Sure. Um, but they're, one of their reporters, Sam Roberts, went into the budget, New York City's budget, which I guess is $70 billion in 2013. Yeah, that's just for the city? <clears throat> yeah. Wow, that is crazy. He found a, a line item that was kind of startling. $95,000 for body bags. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was startling too, but it kind of makes sense. Um, that'll buy you, in 2013 dollars, about 5,500 heavy-duty body bags, which is what you want. You know, you don't want the flimsy ones. For the really messy stuff. Yeah, but... Um, there were another 13,000 pouches for corpses uh, delivered to the ME, the medical examiner's office. Right. And I guess this is for potential disasters or? Um, well, the the, uh, the heavy-duty ones are for disasters, that kind yeah. of thing where the body's in a really bad state. But then the, the pouches are for more like uh, they died of a heart attack or something like that. Gotcha. And were found immediately, not months later. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they're relatively cheap. They're $6.86 each for the pouch for an adult size. It's not bad. But it gets more depressing. They're, as the price goes down, the, the the depression goes up. Oh, the smaller the body. Right. So sure. it's $3.29 each for a child size and then two forty nine for an infant. Yeah. I remember when we did our coffins episode, it was always sad to talk about infant coffins being coffins. cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. But it takes less material, so it makes sense. Plus, I mean, you deserve a break of some sort. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Uh, All right. 
So I guess that's it for this week, huh? Man, we're just cruising through. Artificial wombs and body bags. Yeah, if somebody says, are there going to be artificial wombs? And then does New York really spend $95,000 a year on body bags? What do you say? Uh, I say, you better believe it. <laughs>